Hi my beautettes, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna hop right in and we're, I'm gonna use this as a base. Uh, this is the Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline. Um, this is already starting, or oh, I'm already starting my V-Day series. This is volume one. <laughs> and I have a few more, so bear with me. Um, yeah, so this for this tutorial, I'm gonna use more like burgundies and um, yeah, like purple burgundies. And for my lid, it's going to be lighter, of course. But I'm using my Carly Bible palette. That's the palette um, as far as eyeshadows and basically everything what I'm going to be using. Um, it's the Carly Bible palette. That is my favorite to go. Right now, I'm actually concealing my lid. And I just want to make sure that everything is set. So when I start to go in on my crease or in my crease, um, it'll be ready. Right now, we're going to hop in my modern um, renaissance palette. And uh, sorry, don't mind me. I'm just like, I have the music in the back and just trying to keep up with my playlist. <laughs> yeah, so right now, what I'm doing is um, just creating like a rough draft for my, a rough draft, excuse me, for my um, cut crease. And I'm going to use like the darker tones. As you can see, I use that nice purple um shade it's like a very dark burgundy purple i believe it's love letter um and i went right in so if you have this palette you can go right in and use those burgundy colors girl because when i tell you when you do a nice cut crease and um those burgundies it comes out really nice but anyways so yeah i'm just checking the format checking the style see making sure um if i have to dab in fix any um sides of it right now i'm just um adding more on and just making sure that the edges and everything comes out the way i want to <laughs> excuse me of course you can do it um as to your liking i'm never one to tell anyone what to do with their makeup you know be as creative as you can it's your life it's your face um it is face art it comes off so you know good thing <laughs> So it's, you know, just choose basically as to what's your style. It's really no style to anything as long as, you know, you make it come out right and blend well and everything is seamlessly beautiful. That is all to it. So right now, basically, I'm going to go in with this. Um, it's basically I can use it for like the corner of my eye or like a shading for the under eye. But um, I'm going to take it and I'm just going to blend it out. It's clean. So... I made sure that's why I was wiping it off, making sure everything was off, even though it's clean. Um, and just go right in and just try to like format how I want for my eye shape, basically. You know, like I said, everyone has different eyes, different um, eye shape, so it will go accordingly different to you to your eye shape, basically. So I'm just blending what you see me doing here. I'm just gonna continue to blend and blend until. I see how I like it and possibly party add on more just because when you blend and blend you kind of take away from the color as well but sometimes you need that diffusion to just like lighten it up so that's just what I'm doing here now I'm gonna go in with my concealer and what we're gonna do we're gonna cut the crease so basically I'm gonna cut my crease from the inner all the way to the basically the outer but when I get to the middle, you saw how I put my eyes up. That's because it helps me achieve where to exactly keep going um, right on the crease as I like it. So I'm just going to wing it all out and just dab on it. Make sure that it's my eye shaped and everything as to how I like it. And like I said, your eyelid are different than mine. So just do it accordingly to your eye shape, basically. Everything to your eye shape. Your cut crease to your eye shape. Um your crease to your eye shape and your lid basically um so right now basically i'm just um uh, fixing it and i'm still gonna go in like i said i'm using the body the cardi bible palette and those shades um it's basically what i'm gonna use on my eyelid as well i'm just making sure everything is coming out the way i want to because like i said you know when you look at your eye shape and you look in the mirror you can see how everything is coming out so far 
right now i'm just like like i said i'm going in blending making sure um if there's any missing spaces or anything that needs more color that's just basically what i'm taking the time out right now to do and um just make sure that it's all seamlessly looking so when i add my eyelid everything will come together also the lashes you know everything the whole entire look now i'm gonna go in with this shade and i'm gonna use it right here on my eyelid um yeah i'm just doing like so you would want to pop it on like so right on your eyelid and i tend to use a shading brush that's a little bit bigger than other brushes simply because i have big eyelids and once you add the eye the shade on my eyelid it already takes up the whole eyelid so it's perfect for me because i have big eyelids and once i use a little bit of a big flat brush of a blender um that's a little bit bigger than the usual ones it helps out my eyelid better because i just smack on the makeup and i just get to add on as much as i want um and with it having to go back and to go back and to go back a thousand times even though i do <laughs> i was just feeling myself there sorry fixing my hair now we're gonna go in with my favorite um black liquid eyeliner so i have like about three favorites if i can remember but they all have this type of um felt tip it's more like a pointy felt tip um, i just like the way that i can just go right and straight and go across and the color just the black just goes right on nice smoothly aligned i believe i got this at family dollar because they have a makeup section and believe it or not they sell maybelline and everything sorry this is the lashes that i'm going in real quick um they're with 3d lashes 25 mm and i got that at one of my local beauty stores that are now selling um, mink lashes 3d lashes 25 mm's that's where you know i usually pick them up at or i order from baddie b lashes but that's just basically it so i'm just applying them putting pressure making sure that they're sticking together with my natural lash because yes oh i feel like a girl again thanks now i'm gonna add some gems for my look because i've been inspired with the whole gem look lately also and i haven't picked up smaller ones so you gotta use what you have this is what i have so i just made it work and i'm feeling this is giving me little princess arabian vibes or moroccan i usually get confused with moroccan all the time but i'm actually um you know i'm actually latin spanish all of that and yeah my mom was just actually telling me where my grandma's grandparents grandfather's mother's from um you know her dad and all of that her mom like just letting me know the sides and i did not know that my family also has spain so yeah it says a lot about um my nose because we also have some from french bonjour but anyways enough about my history we're just gonna go right in right now i'm dabbing out the concealer make you want to make sure you dab everything out that's why i just spend a amount of the time just blending out everything because these makeups be playing tricks and you want to make sure you don't have no creases no lines no unblendedness uh, when you step out or if you're going out or even if it's to just be in your living room or in your casa want to make sure it's all blended because yeah don't mind me i'm just singing sorry now i'm just gonna go in with my setting powder and i believe this is like um a glowing setting powder from absolute cosmetics and i'm just gonna put it right underneath my eye just to brighten it up and conceal it don't mind me i'm sorry i'm singing so now i'm going to just dust away everything off make sure it's blended I'm um, just shaking off that under eye powder and just blending it all out my face, making sure everything is good. And I'm putting some blush um, in my, oh no, sorry, this is highlighter. I'm putting a cream liquid highlighter on that, my nose and on the highlight spots because this is where I want it to be very bright and shiny. You know, I love a glowy look. 
and um, right now i'm using the 3d um ruby cosmetics highlight and contour palette i love their contour palette the browns are to die for because they have like the light shades so even when you're like tan um and you don't want something too dark they have nice like i don't know i just put it when i put it with my skin it goes so well with it and i'm really loving the colors um underneath it so it goes right with my skin color my skin tone and i absolutely love it so yeah i'm just gonna apply it in the spots where i want to contour and i'm just gonna use those shades it's like pretty like a nice pretty light brown with a little bit darker brown but it's not like too dark as you can see it's giving a natural effect so yeah make sure you cop yourself one girl i got mine at my local beauty supply store so that's where you can go and get them or you can go online and get your highlighting palette from them and see what i'm talking about you will not be disappointed now i'm going all over my face my forehead like i said making sure because you know prettiest girls got them big heads and i don't know i feel like i lost some weight and in, in my face like some mass some body mass and i don't know i just i can tell so definitely need this contour mamita gotta hide that papita <laughs> yo i should have been a rapper now let me stop but anyways we're getting into finishing this contour and soon we'll have our finished look i'm just blending blending and basically blending here goes my song again. sorry just i go through these little rap sessions while i do my makeup so i'm sorry but right now we're just like blending more um i'm going in more with a bronzier from a bronzier color from um, the Carly Bible palette and I love those shades so I don't really need too much if you have the Carly Bible palette you know you do not need a lot because it's very potent and once you smack that color on you are golden mm -hmm. it happens but yeah so now I'm just adding this on because I want to look like a light bulb mm -hmm. so add a lot of glow this side add it on that side you know you want to be shite and bright and mamita so keep on Keep on. Mm -mm. Do you guys eat this candy? It's a Mexican candy. I love it. Mm. Anyways, sorry, <laughs> sharing my little snacks with y'all. Now I'm finishing up my lip liner because I'm so loving the brown lip liner mixed with nudes. I'm going to go in with this T Rose from Elf Cosmetics. It's a matte lip and it's so pretty. I love it. Perfect for Valentine's Day. Perfect. And yeah, that's it. That's our completed look. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know any suggestions down below. And I cannot wait for you guys to see my next volume on this V-Day series. Love ya. Bye. Um, this is the finished look I always start off well actually I've been starting off with my left eye simply because it saves time and you guys um, kind of know also how I do my full face so sometimes I just go in already in with one eye ready to do this eye um, I hope you be tets like it I have this new headband I have not worn and I threw it on with this white. You said to enjoy this tutorial. I cannot wait to get back with more. If you have any suggestions, like I always say, please don't hesitate. Um, leave your comments down below, any suggestions down below, and your homegirl will get back to you. I hope you have a beautiful night and enjoy your week. Bye bye. Nobody screaming like you. I was having visions with you, doing things, switching lanes in the beamer with you. And swimming in deep water saved me from my sorrow. Swimming in deep, just some pieces I need. So why can't I get that for free? Tell me I can trust you.